I want you to imagine a perfect box. Nothing can come in or out and it's virtually indestructible. If you place an apple inside of the box and seal it up for the rest of time, do you know what would happen? At first, the apple would start to rot and decay and after some time, the apple would be reduced to nothing but dust. But the apple contains chemical energy, the same kind of energy you would get if you ate the apple or burned the apple. And we know that energy can be created or destroyed and that eventually, energy will come out. So over time, the inside of the box would get very hot, like we're talking thousands of degrees. And over a very long period of time, that energy will start to fuse together, creating a nuclear reaction. Now, in this scenario, time is infinitely long, but the amount of particles that were in the box is not. So over time, these particles of energy will go through every possible state that they can, and once that's done, they'll start to reuse them. So if you left it long enough, the apple would eventually reconstruct itself as it was all those billions of years ago. Not only that, but everything that could exist in the box will in fact exist in that box, and each of them will exist an infinite amount of times. So why should you care? Well, as physicist Anthony Aguirre puts it, if you may already be inside the box, 